with how much I like Fuegolian and Leopold, this episode being called the Crimson Lion King makes me oh so happy. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 23. Last episode, we had my boy Asta trying to protect that little girl against Jimmy with his curse magic and then having some issues, bleeding a lot. Then Noel came in clutch big time. And then we had Alfred. I'm pretty sure his name was. I actually didn't get to write them down. Um, I did get to write down the guy's name, Radiz, or it sounds kind of like Radiz, Raditz. Um, but uh, Asta, I keep calling him Radizadiz in the Petite Clover. It was just hilarious. I'm excited to get into this episode though. I'm just gonna hop into it. Remember, if you guys want early access, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, we are now four episodes ahead on Patreon, so make sure to check that out. If you guys want early access full length, that Patreon's always available for you. If you guys wanna support me, and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below for the algorithm, I appreciate you all so much. I see you guys. All you guys saying algorithm, you guys will say something, 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 funniness algorithm. I see you guys, I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. Dapper Darius, let's hop into this. Uh, Black Clover episode 23, The Crimson Lion King. The Crimson Lion King, let's do this. Oh, this is the actual king. Oh my, uh, Augustus Kira Clover. Augustus Kira Clover. When they're at war, his authority equals the actual king, especially because he's the leader of the, all the... Okay, that would make a lot of sense. So there seems to be some tension between them as well. That is very interesting. Ooh, he's quick. That is true. It's crazy. He's like in a straight jacket with no legs, though. And I am a fan of lightning magic ever since I saw Luck in action. So, but I don't want to be. A, I don't want to be voting for Alfred. Don't worry. If anyone's gonna be good, it's gonna be Asta. Yeah, you get out of here, girl. Watch out for the zombies right around the corner. <laughs> Why don't you just go slash Radez? Oh, yeah. How did I already forget about the magic absorption? Let's do it again, Noel. Hell yeah. Especially because we're in need of some range right now. Yes, my boy, I love that red grimoire. What number is this? A water one. Number. Muddy water magic. Oh, especially because he's fire. That would make a lot of sense why he's a poor matchup for that one. So it's not just like normal water like Noel, it's muddy water. It's like Mudkip, the Pokemon. Quagmire. What was, it, what was it? Quagsire? Quagsire. I said Quagmire. What am I thinking? Family Guy? Yeah, I'm curious how these two are going to take care of uh, this thing. Okay, Alfred's charging up right now. Alfred said, I've had enough of this. The Crimson Lion King. Here we go. You're about to see my boy Fuegolian. Wow, that's like Endeavor level heat. When Endeavor burned that, no spoilers, never mind. In case you haven't seen my hero, go watch it. No, no worries, Fuegolian. I appreciate the assistance. That is such a nice thing to say, especially with how the other royals were speaking to a peasant like me earlier, a commoner. Look at this man. This man is such a good man. <laughs> Hell yeah. We know Julius likes Yami, so I I'm curious to know what the other captains think of Yami. 
But the black bulls are pretty ridiculed, you know? Yes, he did. Aww. Aww. Bro, come on. You really can't have too many rivals, but that makes us, that tells us that he wants to be the Wizard King, that he's not a pussy, that he considers Asa, even though he's clearly out of his league, someone who is going for the same goal, so someone equal of being respected, you know? Captain of the Crimson Lion Kings. <laughs> this man is someone that I would I would respect. I'd be like, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'd be I'd be down to be on the Crimson Lion Kings. For sure. Gotta make sure I'm still recording. Yeah, bro. I know. A captain said that to you. He wants to cry. That's so cool. He's so motivated. <laughs> If only Deku said that sometimes. <laughs> Come on, he just said he has this. What are you doing, Austin? You're pushing yourself. Sometimes you can push yourself too far. Like, you gotta think. Exactly. And he's fresh. He's not fresh, but he's ready to battle. Like, he's still... Come on. Exuberance may be your greatest weapon, but keep a cool head. Come on, don't turn it into a weakness. And he gave Noel some bars last episode. He's given Asta some bars this episode. What's what's going on? I, we had an inkling that he was from the kingdom. At the uh, at the entrance or exam, yep. Commoner. Similar to like you know, tremendous magic power. Ah. Compared to the average elements we've seen, you know, undead and corpses, uh, a little forbidden. And I could see that being something that would fuck with his mental. He was a commoner, so no one stood up for him. And then he would grow an ego because no one stood up for him, even though he's better than them, you know? Yeah. There are definitely sometimes where reasons are just as simple as that. What number is this? Oh, he's easily the coolest looking one. Ooh, the Crimson Lion. It's literally like a Pokemon attack. It's literally like Flame Blast, Fire Blast. Oh, Carl. When he was alive. So these are actual. I thought he was just. Wow. So these are actual ex magic users turned dead, re brought somewhat to life, infused with curse magic. Ignis Columna. That's a very good defensive spell right there. Columna, like a column of flame. I like that. Oh, that's that one movie you used last episode or the episode before that. That, like, beam of light that I said. That shit is... Oh, my God. It's like pure plasma. It's literally, like pure energy and uh, molten energy in its purest form soul Linnea. that's so cool he can fight and give bars at the same time constantly <laughs> always be calm always assess on a cool head you know I like that Asa's getting some uh, inspiration. It's kind of like my hero and like, so this is what a pro can do. Holy fuck. <laughs> Without a righteous spirit. <laughs> Look at this man. So honorable. Without a righteous spirit, it's just nothing but violence. He reminds me so much of the feudal lords in Naruto, which I think, because this is... You know, so close to Naruto, in my opinion. 
it's it's good because like fuck the feudal lords in Naruto. Oh, if only you saw Fogolian put in work. Oh, if you saw what was going on with Radas. Banzai! Banzai! Ghibli shows me how excited. It's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good little teaser right there. Okay, okay. Well, way to get me hyped this episode, which what I assumed was going to happen with Fogolian and Leopold and all that. But way to end it with more cliffhangers and more hypeness for next episode. Just when we thought everything was uh, fine and dandy, which it does make sense because right before he invaded or did his attack on the capital, we saw him meet up with someone else saying, are you ready? I'm ready. So like, obviously there's more and uh, they have a vengeance or a vendetta against the Clover Kingdom, which they can easily gather people like Radez, who has a vengeance against them and wants revenge. But fantastic episode. I love seeing the defensive and offensive spells. I love the amount of variety they have in their arsenal. Uh, like Fogolian, he can do his soul columna, which was like a, a wall, like a column of fire, and then the soul, soul linea, which is like that hyper beam, you know. I love it so much. He did the soul ragunia, whatever that was, Rigio, oh, Rugians, whatever. That was so cool. But it's like, oh my god, I love it. I love fire. Always been a fan of fire, lightning. I mean, anything that's like Pokemon, I'm always a fan of. I like I, Even the curse. curse. Curse was like the ghost type, you know? I love the defensive spell that his number one, Carl, was able to use. I love how he clarified, like, he, the Carl was an expert in defensive magic, so he took his corpse and then infused his curse magic, so he just made him only stronger. So I was like, he's, this guy really is like the Orochimaru so far, you know, just using dead people to his benefit, which I can totally see why the purple orcas would expel him, you know, and say that's forbidden. Which right now, the captain of the purple orcas is Gweldre Poizot. Interesting name. We know nothing else of the purple orcas. Um, I loved seeing everyone in action. Still not a fan of the silver eagles. They're pricks. I loved Fogolian saying Asta is his rival and just not berating him in any way, but giving him exactly what he needed to hear and just straight bars and facts, you know, just, I just love it so much. But like I said, fantastic episode. I'm about to hop into this next one. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. If you guys want to check out early access, that Patreon is down below. So full length, it's always available to you guys. I'll see you soon. Four episodes ahead on Patreon. See you guys soon.